Hey guys, I'm Pranav Shastri and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make the connection of your electrical switchboard. The materials I will be using are a blank, a regulator, some switches, the back plate, screws to secure it and of course the front plate. You can use your units according to your requirement. To start off with, we are going to start securing our units to our back plate. I am going to start with my fan regulator and then my switch. Make sure the red part comes on top because that indicates that the switch is on. So as you can see we fit a blank and then we fit our other two switches. So now our panel connection is ready. Now we are going to take one wire and connect it in series with all as in the face wire will be this one. Later we can give the main phase wire connection to any one of the switches because all three are interlinked. There are three switches here, I will be giving it to the nearest one. So as you can see, these two faces are connected and now the third switch's face is also connected. So now as you can see, all the switches face connection is done. Now before fiddling with the wiring, make sure that the MCV is in the off position. Now as you can see, these three are our point wires. They are coming from the point. So in this, these two are our light wires and this is our fan wire. So as you can see, these three are our wires coming from the main distribution box. The phase wire, the neutral wire and the body earth wire. And these two are for our points, the body earth wire and the neutral wire. We are going to be looping it over here so that the circuit is complete. Now we are going to start off by connecting the phase wire to the switches where we had connected the series wire. So as you can see this is our connection diagram, this is how house wiring is done. So we are going to start off by skinning the phase wire. We are going to connect the phase wire to any one of them. I am connecting it to this, the nearest one. So as you can see now the phase wire connection is completed. Now we are going to be connecting the fan regulator in series with the switch so that when the switch is turned on that time the fan regulator can be adjusted and the fan will turn accordingly. So now we are going to get this wire. Remember that the fan regulator is not polarized so you can connect any one wire to the switch and the other to the fan point. Now we are going to skin the other side and tape it with the grey wire which is our fan point wire. So we are going to skin it and we will do the taping. We are going to tape it nicely so that it will never break because of heating or anything. So as you can see the taping is done. So now our fan regulator connection is done. Now we will connect these two point wires from our light to the two switches what we have in our connection board. So as you can see I am skinning both of them and now we will connect them to the two switches. So we will loosen the screw and then put the wire in the slot and tighten the screw. Make sure you tighten the screw hard enough so that it never comes out during operation. So as you can see our second light wire is also being finished and now our switchboard wiring is done. As you can see the light wires are also done and the fan wire is also done. But now we have our neutral and body earth wire pending. We are going to loop it here so that the circuit gets complete. We are going to skin the wires and tape it. So now we finished taping our body earth wire. Now we are going to skin our neutral wire and we are going to tap it in the same manner. And be generous in taping so that it never comes out due to heat or any other factors. So as you can see the taping is being done and the taping is done. So now our circuit is completed. 
So now when we switch on the switch the lights will glow and the regulator also will work accordingly to the switch and the fan. So now we are going to mount the back plate to the wall using the screws provided. There are two screws in this model. This is a 6 unit plate. Make sure all the wires have fit in nicely and neatly so that they are not rubbing against each other hardly. So as you can see we have tightened it. Now we will hit our front plate and fix it. So as you can see in this manner we have fit our front plate and now our board is ready for operation. Now we are going to switch on our MCB. And as you can see, the light switches on when we switch on this switch, the second light switches on when we switch on this switch, and our fan also operates accordingly. Thank you for watching the video guys and make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment if you have any doubts. Thanks for watching.